you ever write action lists or to-do lists in Excel and find yourself wasting precious time working out which things are due, marking off completed items? Well, I've got a solution for you because we're going to turn a task list like this in Excel into something more like this, which not only looks slightly better and appealing, but is completely automated so you can flag up stuff coming up soon, automatically marks off to-do dates, automatically marks off completed dates, and even gives warnings if the amount of time a task will take and its deadline is at risk. So let's get started. Step one, and it's almost step one whenever I'm working in Excel these days, is turn whatever you're using into an Excel table. Now, there's sometimes there's good reasons not to do that, but this is definitely not one of them. Turning it into a table is going to have all sorts of advantages. And if you want to know the full range of those, there's a video link in the description where I tell you all about them. Talking of links in the description, you can also download this file before we get going and work along at your own pace. It's completely free. I'm not going to ask for any of your details or anything like that. Turn it into a table. I could go to the insert menu and click table and it's detected my range and I can click OK. Pretty obvious formatting. It's turned into a table, but I could have used the shortcut control T to do that, which is what I personally always do. Now you might not like that, but on the table design menu that comes up, you've got all sorts of formats. Now I'm going to pick one like this. I don't want these sort of stripy rows because it might interfere with formatting. So I've just picked one that looks like this and I think looks quite good. So that's step one. I click anywhere in this done column or I could highlight the whole column. Go to conditional formatting and we're going to pick an icon set. And the icon set that I'm going to choose is this one here, the five quarters from either nothing all the way to full. And I think that's perfect for the kind of thing that we're looking for here. So I click on that and it's done nothing or it seems to have done nothing. Now, of course, it has done something. What it's done is marked it down as a conditional format, but only on the cell I was highlighted at the time. Now, what we need to do is just change that to the whole column. And I should be able to hover over here and click on that. And that will highlight the whole column. Or I could just manually type it in or highlight it manually with a mouse and click apply and OK. And what that's done is put the icons on. But are they right? I'm not sure that they are because 50% yes, 50%, 65 is showing us three quarters. Maybe it's rounding it, 80 is three quarters. I don't think that's what we want. And the reason for that, if I go into manage rules here and edit the rules, you'll see that we're using 20, 40, 60 and 85. And I would say that the full circle wants to be, you know, 100%, 75, 50 and 25. And you'd think that that would work. Now hit OK and apply. And you can see that it doesn't work because 50% is coming up as a quarter. And this is a little quirk here that what it means by the type being percent is the percent of the values it can see, I believe. So what we need to actually change it to is a number so that we're basically applying exact numbers to our criteria. So one being 100%, then 0 0.75, 0 0.5, and 0.25. Hit OK and apply. And now we're getting somewhere. We're still getting nothing under 25%, of course. 50% is exactly half. If I put in 75% there, we get our three quarters all the way up to 99 and then 100. So that is working. Next, what do we want to do? Well, we want to see which tasks are overdue instantly when we look at that. And one of the prerequisites for that is knowing, well, what is today's date or what's the evaluation date of that criteria? So we need to get that in first. I'm going to add a few rows at the top of this here. And I'm just going to put, uh, let's put today's date. And we can use a function for that, which is the today function. And you just need to put two 
brackets. There's no criteria on that. And that will put in whatever the, the current date is. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to add a few days to that so that we've got some stuff that actually is overdue. Push the control hash key just to change that into nicer looking format, I think. It's a very quick way of doing that. Now let's put our flags on the deadline column. Again, conditional format and we want a highlight cell rule. What do we want to do? We want to highlight cells where they are less than the today's date. So in other words, where the deadline is less than today's date. And instead of saying less than the 5th of December, let's delete that and we'll say it's less than that date in that cell up there. And you can see it's instantly highlighting because it's recognized what it's going to look like. Light red fill with dark red text. One of the defaults I think is completely fine. I don't want to go messing about too much here. I want to get quick, good results. So we're OK on that. It should have marked this one. So why is it not done that? Well, again, it's because if we go to Manage Rules, you can see we've only applied it to the current cell. There we want C6 to C25. We'll apply that. We now have two of them highlighting. So that's our overdue task highlighted automatically based on today's date. If I add another month on there, you'll see we get some more highlighting. So anything overdue will be highlighted. One of the things I like to do is highlight maybe stuff that's coming from the next month or something. So let's put highlight within X days as a criteria. And let's just make that 28. So we're going to highlight everything coming in the next 28 days. So for this, we still want a highlight cell rule, but we just need to amend our formula slightly. So let's go back to here, highlight cell rule. So this time we want it less than, not obviously less than the 10th of January. So again, we'll delete that. We want it less than today's date plus the number of extra days that we said. So in other words, 28 days after today's date, we want it highlighted. Now, obviously, we don't want it red. I'm just going to pick this yellow one here just so that it looks like a bit of a warning or something and hit OK. Yet again, it's only applied it to the current range. So we just need to manage that range there by clicking on that and hitting apply. <laughs> what have we done? Right, we've overwritten, it would seem, our past due deadline dates. If we go back to manage rules, you see there's a clear reason for this. And I always think it's somewhat counterintuitive because it says that the rules are applied in the order shown. To me, that kind of implies that it would put the yellow cell marking and then carry on and then put the red cell marking if it meets that criteria. But it actually means the opposite. It means it's a, like a hierarchy. If we move that one up using this arrow here to the top and hit apply, you'll see we get them back. So it's as if it applies this and then it applies like all the others kind of underneath almost. You should think of them as like the top one being what's shown on top of everything else. So that is that one fixed. The next thing that's really helpful with to-do lists is to be able to grey out or to at least strike through all the completed tasks. And you can see that we have a task here that's shown as 100% complete. And so what we need to do is basically mark that as such without having to do anything manually other than maybe update the percentage complete. So for this, we need something different because we can't use a highlight cell rule because if you try and apply a highlight cell rule, it can only highlight the same cell that the criteria is in. But what we want to do is strike through the whole row. So we're going to need to use a formula. So we need to go to new format and use a formula. Now, what's our formula then? Well, our formula is going to need to be where that cell there equals one by 100%. But we don't only want it to apply to row 11, so I need to take the dollar sign off that row 11. We fill that with a format, like a sort of dark gray or something. And on the font, we'll put a strike through on it and we'll put it in white or maybe even like a lightish gray. So it's going to look like that. That'll stand out. So that's what it looks like. But it has only done it on the one cell. <laughs> it's the same reason as many of the others here. It's because we didn't change the applies to. So we need that to apply to this time, the whole table. I like all of that with the mouse and hit apply. And now you'll see it applies across the whole row. So let's hit OK. Now let's change that to 100%. That works, back to 20. So we've got it working, brilliant. One other thing I want to automate on this 
task list here, and that is that there might be some tasks in here that are at risk because the number of days left is less than the amount of days until the deadline date. For example, let's add another 56 days on here. You can see now that it says we're at the 5th of March, but this 5th of March one, I know it's warning because it's coming up in March, but there's 20 days left on that task. So that ought to have some more serious warning on it because there's only 15 days until that task is due. So let's attempt to do something like that. I'm going to add it as a new rule, as a formula. What is our criteria here? Today's date plus the number of days left to do the task is actually greater than the, due, the deadline date, like that. That is essentially our, our formula. But there's a couple of things we need to sort of tidy up about that. So the first thing is, I know technically the logic's sound, but I would like to put that in some parentheses. Incidentally, if you don't push F2 when you're inside these formulas, you can't move about with the arrow keys. So that tidies that up. But also, we don't want to be fixing all these rows here. Now, C2 is today's date. That does need a fixed row. But all the rest of it, we need to take the dollar signs off the row number. Otherwise, it's only ever going to work on this particular row in the table. And then what format do we want? Well, let's do a fill of, say, an orange or something at the moment. We'll pick a font of white and we'll hit OK on that. And you'll see that one does highlight already, but we just need to manage that rule and make sure that we've applied it to the whole days left column. So that is working. So there's a couple of things I don't like about this straight away. One is the color. It just doesn't go with the rest of the scheme. I think it would be far better if we were using this color here. And secondly, we're putting warnings on, you know, even completed tasks, but also stuff that's gone past the deadline. Let's address a couple of these in order. If we go back to manage the rules, the first thing is the reason it's trumping, if you like, the completed one is because it's shown above it. So we can move that apply it, you can see we've got rid of that. We can't sort of move it down in the order to stop it, the due date ones being highlighted because it's applying to a different range. So it doesn't matter where it sits in that regard. What we need to do is refine the criteria to make sure that it takes account of whether the task is past deadline or not. So if we go back to edit the rule, really we've got two criteria here. So it needs to meet this criteria, which is that the today's date plus the number of days it would take to do the task is greater than its deadline. But we also want another criteria. So I'm going to put an AND in front of that. Push F2 so I can edit the formula more easily. So we want that criteria still. And then I'm going to put a comma. And then we want a new criteria. So bear in mind which row is currently being checked in the formula that you're writing, because everything needs to move in sequence. So this is looking like it's checking row 6. So I just need to make sure that we do the same. So I'm going to say that the deadline date in row six, and I'm going to push F4 just so that we fix the C and not the six, that that has to be, let's do greater than or equal to today's date, and that can be fixed. So we've got a bit of what looks like a longer formula, but essentially we've just got two criteria that it must meet. And then we'll hit apply, and you can see that we no longer are flagging up warnings on tasks that are already past deadline anyway. What about the color though? Let's change the color back into here. And we want to match that yellow and the sort of system color. So we'll go to format and we'll go to fill. How am I going to find this color? Because it's not on my standard colors. And when I click on here, it'd be guesswork for me to try and find it. So how am I going to do that? And exactly the same goes with font, incidentally. So I've got a tip here as how you can do this. So if you go into conditional formats and you pick the color you want to replicate and you edit that rule and you go to the format and you click on this drop down here and you pick more colors and you hit OK. It sounds ridiculous, but what that's effectively done is it's added it to your recent colors list. So you can now access it from there directly. And then you'll do the same with the fill. So you click on more colors and OK. And that will add that to your recent colors list. So we can now cancel out of this one. We now go back to the one we want to change. 
And now we can choose from recent colors to pick those exact same system colors. And of course, they don't need to be system colors. You could do this to match any color. So we'll go to edit the rule and format. Notice I'll go to font first. On the colors, we have our recent colors. So we can just pick the recent color from the font list. That's fine. But on fill, we don't have recent colors. So how are we going to get around that? Well, we can go to the pattern color where we do have recent colors and click it there. And then, then on here, click more colors and we get given the hex reference of the color. So we can just copy that, hit control C there and go back to more colors and then paste it in as the hex color and hit OK there. And now we've matched exactly the color of the other format. So we can apply that and hit OK. That is that one fixed. Just one last thing I want to tidy up. I'm just going to do a format painter on these two cells here. So they match the table and just put some borders around there like that. We now have a really great looking to-do list that'll save you a heck of a lot of time. Not only we know which tasks are overdue, we know which tasks are complete. We have a little icon showing us how complete the task is at an instant. And we have some warnings on tasks coming up in the future that might not be able to hit their deadlines. And remember, download this spreadsheet is already set up as well. So you can even use this exact to-do list as a template for yourself. So let's work together, get better Excel results faster. I'll see you soon.